二零一八年嘅第六条题目咧就系讲输血嘅。香港红十字会输血服务中心咧，佢哋会保存咗唔同血型嘅血液嘅。去確保咧有足夠嘅血液去提供醫院作輸血嘅用途。Part A 就問啦，喺所有嘅血型當中咧，醫院嘅急症室對於 O 型血嘅需求係最大嘅。而題目咧就要我哋解釋一下呢個現象啦。咁呢個題目嘅思考邏輯咧就係一句説話嘅啫，就係、是、用得越多需求就越大。所以最關鍵嘅概念就係點解 O 型血係會咁頻繁地被使用作輸血嘅用途？而當中牽涉嘅概念就係 O 型血嘅人，佢哋就係全息嘅輸血者。咁點解佢係全息輸血者呢？係因為啦，喺佢哋嘅紅血球表面係冇任何嘅抗原嘅，即係話當 O 型血嘅人佢嘅紅血球入咗去 A 型血、B 型血、AB 型血嘅人嘅身體入面咧，係唔會引起呢個抗體 B 啦或者抗體 A 啦嘅免疫反應嘅。咁所以啦，佢哋就係一個全息嘅輸血者或者捐血者。第二個層次，我哋要解説嘅呢，就係點解 O 型血係會咁常常被利用啦？喺乜嘢情況底下，我哋會用得着佢呢？其中一個情況就係當其他嘅血型嘅庫存唔夠啦 ，A 型血、B 型血、AB 型血唔夠，咁點呀？用住 O 型血先啦，包啱用嘅係咪？又或者啦，喺一啲好緊急嘅情況底下，個病人送到嚟急症室已經係大量嘅失血，你又未能夠立即去知道佢嘅血型嘅話咧，咁冇辦法啦，即刻拎包 O 型血輸住先啦，係咪？咁啊吊住佢條命，然後知道佢血型之後咧，就拎翻相應嘅血咧，就輸翻俾佢啦。而另一個原因咧，喺書本冇學到嘅，咁我哋當喺做題目嘅時候咧，學一下一啲冷知識啦。喺香港嘅人口入面咧。最多嘅咧就係 O 型血啦，咩意思啊？咁啊，因為 O 型血嘅病人咧，佢只能夠接收翻自己捐俾自己嘅血，亦都符合到用得越多，需求越大嘅呢個概念嘅。去到 Part B 啦，呢、這個表咧就顯示翻對於成年嘅女性同埋男性嘅捐血者嘅一啲建議啦。咁你見得到啦，女性、男性嘅捐血者咧，佢哋一年最多捐血次數，女性嘅係四次，男性係五次。咁啊，捐血之間嘅相隔時間咧？女性咧就系不少于一百零五日，而男性咧就系不少于七十五日。咁咁即系话男性咧，其实喺一年入面系可以捐多几次血嘅。咁所以啦，你见到呢两个数字咧，都系互为因果嘅。题目就要我哋解释下点解对女性同埋男性嘅捐血者嘅建议会有个差别咧。咁呢个题目咧，我哋要留意翻个作答嘅应假啦。其实呢一类型嘅题目就系指出及解释嘅题型嚟嘅。首先咧，你要指出翻个不同。因为喺呢条题目呢句句子入面啊，佢冇讲过俾你听咧。啊，男性咧，佢系可以一年入面捐多几次血嘅，佢冇讲过，净系讲喺呢个表入面有个不同的建议，所以第一分你要讲个不同嘅建议，其实即系做比较，你就要讲咧，男性能够捐多几次血。但系记紧，你要做嘅系一个比较，系比较翻男性女性的不同啊！所以你要讲嘅系男性嘅捐血者比起女性嘅捐血者咧，可以捐血捐得频密一啲啦。然后嗰两分咧就系、是、解释啦。咁啊，好多同学咧都净系讲啦，哦，因为女性嘅月经咯 ，menstruation 系唔够，月经大晒啊！月经系意味住一个女性喺每个月都有一个好规律嘅失血。所以啦，佢哋自己对于血嘅需求都好大，所以佢哋就唔能够捐咁多次血，亦都需要长一啲嘅时间俾个身体去补偿翻流失咗嘅血液嘅。另一个原因咧，都喺书本冇学过嘅，咁我哋都系做题目度学翻嚟啦。原来男性产生血细胞嘅速率咧系较女性为之快，所以佢哋捐血之后咧可以够较快嘅补偿啦。呢、这、一个答案呢，佢中文版呢系 O K 噶，男性产生血細胞速率比女性快，但系英文版系冇咗呢个女性喺度嘅，所以啦，如果你系用英文答嘅话呢，个好啲嘅答案系应该讲紧 is faster in males than female。好，又嚟到一点出发啦，今次嘅题目呢，就问输血嘅，考嘅两样嘢，血型同埋性别。讲血型嘅话啦，先讲基础遗传学啦，讲下多等位基因同埋等显性啦。另一个角度咧就系讲身体防卫啦，讲血液嘅兼容性，就考呢两样嘢啦。全息捐血者同埋全息受血者，今次咧佢就考下我哋对于 O 型血佢一个全息捐血者嘅概念。下次可能考下你 A、B 血型啦。
，点解 A、B 型血嘅人，佢哋系一个全息嘅受血者呢？咁我提示就系喺 A、B 型血嘅人嘅血入面。佢哋嘅抗體究竟係咩類型呢？咦，原來係冇喎。第二個變奏呢，同第一條好相近嘅。咁但係就聚焦一啲，就可以講返 A、B 型血。點解 A、B 型血就只能捐血捐返俾自己啦？咁因為你見得到 A 型血，除咗佢捐返血俾自己之外呢佢捐俾 A、B 型血係冇問題。B 型血捐俾自己，捐俾 A、B 型血都冇問題。O 型血捐俾 A、B 型血更加冇問題啦。但係 A、B 型血捐俾 A。B 同埋 O 咧都系好大问题嘅，因为 A、B 型血嘅红血球嘅表面咧，佢系有齐咗抗原 A 同埋抗原 B， 就会刺激得到喺 A、B、O 佢哋身体入面嘅抗体 A 或者系抗体 B 啦。咁所以你就要谂下啦，佢哋嘅红血球嘅表面嘅抗原又有咩咁特别啦？另一 part 啦就系讲性别嘅。咁今次呢，就係讲啦女性啦，点解佢要隔长啲嘅时间上去捐血啦？咁我想提一提嘅呢，男女性仲有啲咩可以比较？例如比较下佢哋嘅营养需求啦。我女性呢，由于每个月都有一个好規律嘅失血，咁所以啦，佢哋对于铁质嘅需求係零舍大啦。或者啦，一个怀孕嘅女性，佢对于铁质同埋钙质嘅需求都比一般冇怀孕嘅女性为之高。喎。咁啊，因为啦，佢需要多啲嘅铁质同埋钙质去输送俾个胎儿呢，去成长嘅。所以呢类型嘅比较呢，我都想大家知道嘅。咁啊，过往啦都有好多有关于血型嘅题目嘅，亦都楞埋嗰个身体防卫去问你嘅。咁啊，成扎题目俾晒大家。咁啊，记住温书嘅时候呢，快快睇返啦。So、one X question six is about the blood transfusion. So in this question is talking about the Hong Kong Red Cross blood transfusion service keep stock of different blood groups to ensure that there is enough blood supply for transfusion in hospital. So for part A, of all the blood groups, blood group O is in the greatest demand in the accident and emergency department of the hospital. So we need to suggest why. The demand of the blood group O is the greatest. We need to explain this phenomenon. So the thinking process is that the more the use, the greater the demand is. So this question is checking us why blood group O is frequently used for blood transfusion. The concept behind that is we need to recall the role of the universal donor demonstrated by the blood group O. So you can see that the rapid cells of the blood group O it contains neither antigen A nor antigen B. Therefore, blood group O individuals they are universal donor. The second level of the explanation is that what is the situation that the blood group O will be used? So it will be used for transfusion of other blood groups if there are not enough blood reserve for other blood groups. Or another case is that when a patient is sent to the hospital and he or she is experiencing a great blood loss, and at that moment we cannot confirm the blood group of this patient. So we prepare the blood group O. We prepare the blood of the blood group O to do the transfusion first. And after we confirm the blood group of this patient, and then we can pick up the suitable, capable blood for the blood transfusion. And for the other reason, we have not learned from the textbook, so we can learn it from the question. The population of the blood group O individuals is the largest of the all blood groups in Hong Kong. So you can see that for the blood group O individual. They can only receive their own blood group. They can only receive their own blood. They cannot receive the blood from blood group A, blood group B, and blood group AB because on the rapid cells of blood group AB or AB there are either antigen A or antigen B or even both of them are present on the rapid cell. So it will stimulate the immunological rejection of the antibody A or the antibody B in the plasma of the blood group O individuals. Therefore, they only need their own blood. Also fulfill the thinking logic. The more the use, the greater the demand is. And for part B, in this table, it shows some recommendation for adult female and male donor for the maximum number of donation in a year. Female donor four times, male donor five times. And the interval between donations for female donor no less than 105 days, for the male donor no less than 75 days. So we need to suggest why there are different recommendation for the female and male donor. For this scaffolding, this question is the state and explain question type. So for the first mark, we need to state the different recommendation for female and male donor because in this statement. 
It doesn't tell you that oh, for the male donor, they can donate five times. Uh, that means one more time than the female donor they can do for the donation. We need to talk about the difference in the recommendation first. Male donor can donate blood frequently. And one thing I would like to mention is that when we are talking about the difference, it means that we are doing the comparison. So we need to compare the female donor and the male donor. So that's why the full statement should be male donor can donate blood more frequently than female donor. If you do not do the comparison and just saying that male donor can donate blood frequently, full stop, it doesn't make sense. You are not doing comparison. You are just stating a fact about the male donor. And then for the other two marks, you need to explain the different recommendation for them. So most of the students, they can recall the concept of menstruation, but some of them, they missed the concept of regular loss of blood. They just say that menstruation. So menstruation, what does it mean? It means that monthly, the female, they will experience the regular blood loss. So that's the complete idea. And for the other reason, we also learn it from this question is that the compensatory production of the blood cell after blood donation is faster in male than female. In this marking scheme, one thing I would like to point out is that for the last statement, it should also tell you the comparison. So that means it should say that it's faster in males than females. Let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question, it starts from the blood transfusion and there are two concepts, blood group and sex. And for the blood group, we can check you the concept about the basic genetics, multiple allele and the co-dominancy. For the blood group, it can also ask you about the body defense, the blood capability, and talk about the universal donor and the universal recipient. So in this question, it talks about the universal donor as the blood group O. And we also know that the blood group O, they can only receive their own blood. So for this concept, universal recipient, for the possible question variation, blood group AB, why are they the universal recipient? Any antibody present in the blood or in the plasma, there are no antibody A or antibody B in the blood of the blood group AB individuals. That means it will not trigger any immunological rejection. However, for the blood group AB individual, they can only give the blood to the blood group AB individuals. That means if they would like to donate the blood, they can only donate to the blood to themselves. So you need to recall any antigen present on the rapid cells. So in the rapid cell of the blood group AB individual, there are antigen A and antigen B. So if the blood group AB individual, they donate the blood to blood group A or B or O, the antigen A and the antigen B, they will trigger the immunological rejection with the antibody B, with the antibody A or both of them. At that moment, you need to be able to explain this. And for the sex, I would like to do some comparison for the diet requirement. So for the female, because they will experience regular blood loss monthly for the menstruation, so they need more iron than the male. And at the same time, when the woman, they get pregnant, so we compare the pregnant woman and the non-pregnant woman. The pregnant woman, they also need more iron and the calcium to provide those nutrients to the fetus to build up their own bones and produce their own rapid cells. In the past, there are lots of questions talking about the blood group and then the genes and then the body defense, a lot, a lot. So watch the video and do the revision.